we've had a tremendous victory here for the for the people of California, for the registered nurses of California, for a legislature that came through for the people of California. It's just it's like an outlier in terms of the reality we've been experiencing in the nation in terms of the cynicism. We've had this beautiful campaign by the registered nurses who brought to the public awareness that there was a problem and that actually they had a, a solution in great part to the problem and that was the question on the contagion of Ebola. The, nur the registered nurses had a campaign. They talked to everyone they could possibly talk to. They had a campaign that went deep into the state, into the nation, and they connected with nurses across the country, across the world actually. And the nurses came together and they came together with demands. And all they asked was for protection for themselves, to care for those for whom they care. We've been organizing around the nation and been very vocal. And uh, we actually were able to accomplish in California real regulations to protect the public and the nurses and those who provide care. This is, this is protecting the care teams. All the mistakes that were made in Dallas hopefully will never happen in a California hospital because of this regulation. That's an amazing thing. Nurses fight for the public every day of their lives. They're patient advocates, they're advocates for themselves on the job, and they have to be, and they're social advocates, and they don't ever leave that social advocacy behind. They fight for good public health policy. They fight for the community. They fight for other workers, and they fight for each other. When a patient in California enters a hospital, they can know that the registered nurse there is protected to protect them. They can know that the equipment is there, that the training is there, the concerns that they may have can be addressed by the nurses and the caregiver team. They can know that their concerns as a patient are there and that they can trust that the registered nurses will fight for their care and that they will be protected in doing so. The nurses have to fight a lot for their patients. It just, it's every day, it's every shift. This gives them significant power in the face of a pandemic to actually quell the fears of the public, to actually care for each other, and to be able to demand and insist that they have the right equipment to take care of their patients. That's a wonderful thing. If you're a caregiver, this is a magical moment in history. California is the seventh largest economy in the world. It's not insignificant that that was accomplished here. The hospital industry didn't want this. The people of California wanted this. And the nurses were the spokespeople for the community, for the public, and they prevailed over corporate interest. Our public health system is dramatically needed to protect all people in our country. What we found here was that private enterprise has taken a beautiful commodity, our health, and actually made it for profit. And what that means is we have a moment in history where we need help and you turn around and there's no one there. And that's been the most chilling aspect of this entire time, is, and that is to try to figure out who's in charge. And we realize there's no one in charge. And then we find out that the nurses always had the power, the public always had the power. And it's how to generate that in a campaign that speaks volumes and says, we demand change, we demand change. It's not optional, we demand change. <laughs>